Hello, my name is Ashish and in this video we will talk about network protection in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So all these control folder access, device control, exploit protection, network protection, these are under attack surface reduction rules in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So what is network protection? Network protection helps protect devices from internet based events. Network protection is an attack surface reduction capability. It helps prevent employees from accessing dangerous domains through applications. Domains that host phishing scams, exploits and other malicious content on the internet are considered dangerous. Network protection expands the scope of Microsoft Defender smart screen to block all outbound HTTPS traffic that attempts to connect to low reputation sources based on the domain or host name. We'll cover the Defender smart screen in coming videos but we'll cover the network protection in this video. So network protection extends the protection and web protection to the operating system level. So I'll just log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and uh, I'm logged on to the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. You can log in here through intune.microsoft.com. Now, network protection can be enabled using PowerShell, Microsoft Device Management or MDM. Or you can use Microsoft Intune Group Policy or Microsoft Configuration Manager. Uh, you can uh, go to Endpoint Security. You can log on to security baselines and then you will see Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline. You can click on create a profile here. Windows Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline, the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline for Windows 10 and newer represents the security best practices for the Microsoft Security Stack on devices managed by Intune. I'll click on Create. It will create a profile. I will say test for the scope of this video. These are the configuration settings. You go to the attack surface reduction rules here. In here you will see enable network protection. Enable block mode. So if you will read more about it. The, this policy allows you to turn network protection on uh, with block or audit or off. Network protection protects employees using any app from accessing phishing scams, exploit hosting sites and malicious content on the internet. This includes preventing third party browsers from connecting to dangerous sites. Value type is integer. If you enable the setting, network protection is turned on and employees cannot turn it off. Okay. What are the options? Disabled, enable audit mode or not configured. All right. So it's enabled by default if you will deploy a new tenant and uh, buy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint Plan 1 or Plan 2. Okay, how will you evaluate network protection? You will first of all, first of all, ideally should evaluate in the audit mode and then you can visit a fake or malicious domain, uh, which can be, uh, the URL can be retrieved from Microsoft documentation because they have provided it to use the lab. Right, and then you will review the network protection events in the Windows Event Viewer how the system audited that step and then how the events were generated and then you can go through the events and look for the steps that you need to enable by changing the policy from audit mode to block mode all right so this is how you will evaluate the uh, network protection and network protection is not only available for Windows, it will be available for, it is available for Linux and Mac OS. And then web content filtering is available for Linux as well. And then you can deploy Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux manually. 
and validate the network protection of the same and then you can do the same on mac os as well okay i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day